Hey all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how you can automate the creation of Microsoft Planner tasks using Microsoft Power Automate and the flow to do exactly that. Now you're probably wondering how could that be useful in Planner? And we had a question from one of our subscribers outlining a bit of a problem. When we use reoccurring tasks inside a Planner and we check them off, it effectively brings that task back straight onto the plan. Now if you're working on tasks that are gonna be over a period of a month or a week, and you clear down a task, you may not want it to reappear straight away. So instead, you could use the process we're showing you today to recreate those tasks weekly, daily, or even monthly, depending on your requirements. So we're gonna show you to go right from creating that new Power Automate flow all the way to testing it in Microsoft Planner. Now, if you do like this content, we'd love it if you hit that like button and follow us for more great content in the future. And let's head into Power Automate and get started. So let's get started with creating a new flow to recreate tasks in a Microsoft plan every single month. All we need to firstly do is go into Power Automate. So if you're not sure how to do that, go to office.com. On the left hand side, click on the app launcher. It's actually called the waffle. So it looks like a bit like a waffle, right? And you don't see Power Automate, go to explore all of your apps. And at the bottom, you will find the option for Power Automate. Click into Power Automate, you'll land at the home page, and we're gonna go and also create a new flow. What I've also done for this actual tutorial is I've already went and created ourselves a brand new Microsoft Planner. There's a couple of custom buckets, being scoping and financials, otherwise entirely empty, to allow us to test out our changes. But you could also use an existing plan to also have this work for you as well. So let's go back into Power Automate and click on Create on the left-hand side to get started. And as this tutorial is focused on the creation of tasks every single month, we're gonna select Scheduled Cloud Flow. We're gonna give it a name. So here I'm gonna put Import Planner Tasks for Project 9. And I'm going to then start this flow every single month from the first of the month at 10 a.m. And it's gonna repeat one month. So repeat every one month. Effectively, while described by Power Automate, it's gonna run every month on the first of the month. So I can go ahead and click on the Create button to create a reoccurrence, i.e. schedule. It's gonna work every month starting on the 1st of July. But if it now reoccurs, it's not gonna do anything at all. We need to tell Power Automate to do something. That's going to be creating a new step, searching for the word Planner under Connectors, selecting the Planner icon, and we can now define an action. So our first one is gonna be create a task brackets preview, and that has a number of options that we can actually select from when we create our task. Now don't be overwhelmed by all of these fields. Most we will never actually use. All we need to do is click in the group ID, and we can select the team or group to which the plan is associated to. Now mine is project nine, yours might look a little different, and we're gonna select the plan name, which is also called Project 9. We're then gonna give this task a title, and that's going to be Create a Project Scoping Document, which I'm just gonna simply copy and paste in one of our documents here. And the bucket is going to appear in Scoping. Now, all importantly, our task needs a due date. It needs a start date as well, and I can show you how to manipulate those so you don't have to pre-create them and manually adjust them every single time. For example, my start date could be when this task is created, the start date starts then. So I can actually click into that field, select expression, and on the right hand side, I can actually type in UTC now, open, close brackets, click on the blue button. So that effectively means that the start date will be the same date this task is actually created on. The due date, however, it's impossible to do this on the same day it's being created. So again, we're gonna click on expression and use a slightly different expression. And this is also included in the video description. So you can copy and paste if you would like. Now this here is going to be add days. So i.e. we're gonna add some days. UTC now with an open brackets to begin with. Open close brackets comma 15 close brackets. Now, sounds very complex, but simply saying he's had 15 days from the date that he's going to be now. So in that scenario, you can adjust the 15 and change it to seven in such as this should be due in seven days 
once a task has been created, click OK and it will now add this expression in and pre-create our due date. You can also assign user IDs by typing in email addresses and putting semicolon, although they should be a member of your plan to allow that. But I'm not going to do that in this scenario. I'm quite happy just to assign it when that task is created. But if it's yourself, as an example, you can put your own email address and it will effectively assign the task to yourself. Now a whole load of these files actually dedicated to coloring. So it depends if this task needs a color as its category. I can mark this as a green category by dropping into the drop down, selecting yes, leave all the others blank. And it simply means this task will have a green label or category applied to it once it's being created. Priority is also pretty useful at the bottom. Hovering over it will tell you effectively what this means. But in short, one is for urgent, three is important, five for medium, nine for low. So I'm going to mark this as urgent just to show you how that looks by putting a priority one. Now that's all great, but you will also note that we're missing a few things. We're missing a description. We're missing things like checklists. They don't appear on our task here. So can we add those? And certainly we can. Go to the bottom, click on new step, and again, search for the word planner. This time, scroll to the bottom, and we're gonna be looking for update task details. Click on that here, and you'll now see we're prompted to input a task ID, but it has no idea what the ID is because it says no items. Well, it wouldn't know that because a task doesn't exist. We are designing a task, we haven't built one yet. So if I click on enter custom value and on the right hand side, I can select the ID of the task. It now means that the task with this ID will be updated by this action. I can now add a further description by adding further details. Again, I'll copy and paste this from my document here to save us some time. And it'll add a further description or comment into that task, finding more relevant information. I could also add references to other files, such as Excel or Word files, but I can also add a checklist. So here I'm gonna add a very simple checklist. Our first ID always begins with one. We then need to give our checklist a name, so i.e. this is the name of the first item in our list. So it's gonna be gathering project requirements. And is it checked? No. And I'm gonna add another item. This time select two as the ID give it effectively a different checklist title and mark it as no to be not automatically checked once it's been created. Now a habit of mine and for good housekeeping, we should really rename these tasks and these actual tasks inside of Power Automate. For example, create a task preview, update task details are not very good because if you want to create more tasks inside of this flow, you know, have them all are the same name. It's impossible to know when things go wrong. We need to go and make a change to a particular task. This will save you a whole heap of time later. So click on the free dot menu, select rename, and you can rename this action. So this is going to be create project scoping document task. The next is going to be much the same. Update project scoping document task. So rename, update. Project scoping document task. Nice and straightforward. So we now have the relevant names of our tasks here in our Power Automate. The problem is though, we're gonna to want to know if this works. Now I could say we could wait until the 1st of July to make sure it works, but that's not very useful. So instead, what we can do is click on the save button to the right hand side, and then click on the test button to the right, and we can now select manually and click test and Power Automate will run this flow regardless of the reoccurrence date. And at this point, you can see it's been run successfully. It took one second to actually complete it. And if I go into my Project 9 Planner, as if by magic, there is our task with a green label, create project scoping document marked as urgent, with start and due dates, notes, and a checklist pre-created using Power Automate. So you can of course add more tasks in Power Automate to create many of those. And of course, as we've seen now, on that schedule, when it runs itself on the 1st of July and every month thereafter, it's gonna pre-create these tasks for us in exactly the same way. So how does this differ though to a reoccurring task you may add? Well, in a reoccurring task, if I was to mark this as reoccurring, and I could still do that because 
the task is also being created, it doesn't have that association anymore. I could say work on this weekly and then close it. Now as I close out this here, it'll simply add the next one in, but that can clutter up your view. The Power Automate process we're using doesn't use reoccurring tasks. Effectively, it means you can clean out all of your tasks. You won't see them, but on the first of the month, they'll be recreated for you as a brand new task, allowing you to go in, make adjustments, clear off the task, and knowing next month, the task will be regenerated for you on the given date. So nice and easy to do, to build your own Power Automate flow, and to get that running for you.